Hi, welcome to another Alla Prima demonstration from me, Hans Garen. Uh, this is done a little bit differently this time. I wanted to start with the ending and kind of reverse engineer it back to the front. I feel like art videos really kind of, you can't wait to get to the end product. For me, the crown jewel is in the beginning. It's in the start. It's in that abstraction, that simplicity. And um, the decisions from there are all based on that sort of bedrock where I can put in something really simple and scrutinize that and measure, recompose, and then block it in as abstract as I can, squinting and simplifying. And so uh, that's, that's, the, that's the big moment that I want to end this little segment on. But stay tuned to the end because then I really speed up the whole thing from start to finish the way everybody's accustomed to seeing art videos. So right now, the, the beginning part is slow and kind of boring, right? I, I think people lose interest by the end because it's really when you have these tiny little brushes out and you're doing these little adjustments. Now, I did add a lot of globby texture to that um, copper pot, you know, immediately following this these little squirrely details. But yeah, I feel like this is the slow part to watch. The beginning is when big things happen uh, with big brushes, um, big fields of value. So here you, you'll see... Uh, you know, just honing in on the cloth, getting some, some textures in there. I wanted to keep that really simple. I wanted really thick paint. And um, the reason behind that is because the thick paint of the copper pot and the cloth help the avocado seem smooth. Everything is contrast. So anything that's visible is contrast. Value is a big contrast, but also too is texture and color temperature. So that avocado really stands out from the environment. Here are all those little details of the avocado are being slowly removed one brush stroke at a time. Uh, my strategy for that was to have you know the nice fields of value in place, but the, the darker parts so that I can just add the dots. And that didn't really work. I had to blend it down and then um, build it back up and um, with smaller, more fine details, and then put in the tracks of dark. And so again, it's just a problem solve. You might have a plan, the plan might fail. But even that failed plan gets you, you know, a little bit of mastery, right? You, you see what doesn't work, but also you problem solve your way through it to make it work. And um, that makes you a better artist in the long run. Here you go. Each dot is being removed almost like it's a magic eraser. Back down to its simplicity, what I could see when I could squint my eyes. And uh, then I refined it into five values. The avocado is a little exception to the rule in that I didn't want a big blobby highlight. It was a bunch of little tiny dot highlights. So that aspect of the five values wasn't there. The copper pot is the exact opposite. The, the highlight is so glaring and the reflected light is so bright that it became a squint level shape. So it was part of the abstract simplification in the, you know, in the second step in the simplicity phase. So there you go, like that was one of the early marks. The avocados had to be refined maybe a little earlier than usual because they were turning brown in front of me. I hit them with some lemon juice to slow it down, but it was still, it was going from a vivid green to a dull brown, um, oxidizing right in front of my eyes with those heavy lamp lights. You always want to be adaptable. I have a system that I love, but each painting is its own you know, entity. It has its own personality and um, you know, message that you're wanting to say with it. And when I teach, it's like, not only that, but each, each student is going to have their personality that I think ought to be celebrated, not kind of forced into a box of technique. I think everybody is going to want a different painting at the end product than maybe I would or follow a different path to get there. Here we go. Big removals. You can see what is essential. That's, that's what I try to capture early on. And so that green of the avocado against the, the mid-tones of the copper pot were the major point of balance that I wanted to reach early on. Everything else had to support it. So you can see the kind of track that I went through. This early stage was all about design. It wasn't even about avocados and copper pots. It was about how am I going to break down the rectangle into shapes that work. And also a little bit of proportion work in its simplest version possible. Remove back down to blank canvas and here we go. We're going to go really fast from start to finish the way people like to see art videos. and. Uh, all the same things I was talking about before. Mass conception, done. Abstract simplification. Uh, again, I had to jump the gun a little bit on the avocados, but pretty much done, right? Uh, primary subject, secondary objects, tertiary environments. 
then back to the focal point to refine it. Here we go, right there. Uh, I wanted this painting to have a bit of texture to it. It actually had more than I thought it was going to go from the start. And again, each painting has its own voice. If you start with abstract simplification, it can go in a lot of different creative directions and still feel like you have that foundation to just add and not randomly guess where the next brush stroke goes. And so I really like it as a starting point. And again, this is a little modified because just each painting, you know, it has its personality. So everyone's going to finish their painting at a personal level. A la prima obviously has a time component to it, but if I had a second or third, fourth, sixth set, uh, sitting to this, it wouldn't be adding much. The essence of the painting is already in place. So it would just be about, you know, how those finishing touches go. Because when you can paint as direct as this, uh, you can really take that first sitting really far and expressively without feeling like you have to compromise uh, drawing accuracy or, or drama or color use. It, it takes a while. It takes a lot of practice. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you'll tune in for the next one. And uh, yeah, I want to keep doing this and inviting people to join me and ask questions and participate. And I just enjoy the company. So I uh, hope to see you on the next time.